Chiropractors, Zach Siegel here, and in this video, we are going to go over start to finish how to create profitable Facebook ad campaigns, okay? And after running literally tens of dozens for chiropractors across the country, um, tune into this video because I'm going to be revealing so many secrets, so many things that most chiropractors, most marketers just haven't even uh, uncovered. Okay, so to start off, um, we need to go, number one, to business.facebook.com. Okay, very simply, um, for actually, we're going to do this a little bit differently. Um, that's a little breakdown as to this video, um, but here we go. So business.facebook.com, you will see this business manager, and I went incognito so I could show you what you'll probably be seeing. Go ahead, click login. Of course, log in with your Facebook account. And uh, we're gonna get a quick code real quick. All right, so we got in and uh, dismiss. All right. So now you're going to see a screen. It might look a little bit different than this. Um, this is all of our different businesses, but you might see something that is a little bit different. Um, usually you'll just see, most people just see their name. Um, and if you click that, that's perfectly fine. It'll bring you then to an ad account, which I'm going to show you. Um, if you have created businesses, you can also use this, um, where basically you'll open up the business and then you'll see your specific ad accounts, Facebook pages, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and just open up, click your name or open up this ad account, and you'll get to a screen that looks something like this, okay? Now, I have a couple campaigns already set up, as you can see here, but we're gonna go ahead and just click this green button, create campaign. And I want you to understand that this is frequently changing uh, Facebook updates this so often so just know it might look a little bit different uh, but these steps typically remain uh, the same so just look for the same information and you'll be good to go now real important campaign objectives okay so this can be very overwhelming if you haven't run Facebook ads before um, and just like the 80 20 rule most of this won't even matter for you you just don't need to use it um, the two in, the two campaigns that I recommend um, starting with are going to be either conversions or lead generation. If you have a funnel built out or a really, really well-built website, um, you could use conversions. If you don't, use lead generation, okay? So we run most of our campaigns for clients with conversions and then we build out funnels. For my agency, it's the same way. Um, Lead generation still works well. So if you don't have that, um, don't worry about it. Basically, lead generation, everything will happen on Facebook. You can collect leads on Facebook without you even having to build funnels and without you having to have so much technical experience, okay? So um, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this with lead generation um, because it's gonna cater to most people watching. Um, but if you... Um, have the stuff built out, click conversions, and it will work basically the same exact way. Now, go ahead and name it. Um, it typically doesn't matter, but for me, I like to keep this stuff very organized because if you are running a lot of campaigns, it will be important. Um, so I'm gonna give you a very simple um, strategy. You could do C1 for campaign one. Um, this will be a cold campaign. It's hitting a cold audience. Um, we'll say lead generation, LG, and we're gonna be using a CBO, campaign budget optimization, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, and then chiropractic, okay? Um, ad set, um, for this, we're, it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna do this for my father's office where we're gonna probably, where we'll get to that and same with the ad. This will be LP, actually L, lead form one, image one. 
So we'll get to that in a second. Okay. All right, so now we have this created. It's not a special ad category, so don't worry about that. Um, auction, all of this looks good. Show more, we don't need a campaign spending limit, um, but you could explore that if you do want. Um, but we're gonna set this up to campaign budget optimization, which I recommend, and we're gonna set a daily budget. So let's say $20 a day over 30 days, that'd be $600. Um, I'd recommend, I mean, you could do this with as little as $5 a day. Um, it just depends on what you want to spend. Ad scheduling, um, we would have to change this to a lifetime budget if you wanna do that, where if you wanna set it during certain hours or things like that. Usually I don't recommend it though because um, most of your leads actually will sign up after hours. So I encourage set a daily budget, um, set it to whatever you're comfortable with. You could always scale it and uh, hit that and let's get going. So now you're gonna wanna select your Facebook page. We're gonna run it for my father's practice health solutions of the Palm Beaches. Um, and you'll see, I'm gonna run this just like a very standard campaign. So what I'll typically do, um, I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. So daily minimum, we'll set this to $5. So that means that basically this ad set, so let me back up. We have campaigns, ad sets, and ads, okay? Campaigns are the overarching thing. Um, inside of the campaign, there are ad sets. And the ad sets, you could have multiple of them inside of one campaign, okay? So this is where the testing goes on. And then also inside of those ad sets, you could have a, 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 multiple ads where additional testing's going on. It, at the ad set level, um, we have stuff like, uh, like audiences, interest, location, age, gender, um, languages, placements of the ad, are they showing up on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, or their audience network, and then just like um, strategy, okay? Um, campaign level, there's strategy as well, and then the targeting options, which we, we selected uh, lead generation, um, so there's that, and then there's the budget types um, for the most part, so lifetime or daily budgets. And at the ad level, it's gonna be what type of ad are we wanting? So graphics, image, uh, graphics, videos, um, what type of copy, like text, um, headlines, all that different stuff, okay? So I hope I'm not confusing you. Here we go though, we're gonna dive in. Um, so let me just find out. We're gonna grab this address, and I recommend doing this for 99% of practices. We wanna select not people living in or recently in this location, people living in this location, unless your practice caters to um, those who are traveling, tourists, most I know do not. So we're just gonna click that, and we click, uh, that's weird, this isn't showing up. There we go. The sweet three was throwing it off. So we have this. Um, notice here it populated a 390,000 potential reach. Okay, so that's fine. Now I'm gonna say my dad is marketing for um, sciatica conditions. Okay, chiropractic, um, sciatica degeneration in the back, uh, maybe some decompression. Typically these patients are a little bit older. So um, I hear a lot 50, 55, 45, right? Um, depends on your practice and what you tend to see. But we're gonna set this to, um, we'll set it to 50, 50 to 65 plus, okay? And now you can see the potential reach has dropped quite a bit. So now we're at 140,000 people. Um, in fact, I think he sees he sees some that are younger though. So we're gonna drop it usually five below what you're comfortable with. And we're gonna start there. Um, if you know your your pop your age is is older, go ahead and set that. Once again, I do recommend five on both five years on both sides. Um, but go ahead and set what you're comfortable there. Both genders are good. Um, we do not. He does not speak English or have anyone. In, uh, 
he does speak English and doesn't have any other language in that office. So you'll want to make sure you're selecting that if you're in an area like South Florida where there is a lot of Spanish speaking as well. Um, all this is good. I'm going to leave this open, um, but I will give you some ideas on some things you could do. And this is something that you test at the ad set level. That's where you create multiple ad sets. So you have one that doesn't have, you maybe has no interest targeting, and then another one that has like um, stuff like chiropractic treatment technique interests. Um, you know, maybe uh, health, where you can search health. So there's a lot you could do here is what I'm showing you. Um, health interests, health and wellness interests. You'll see stuff like alternative health interests. Um, healthy diet, healthy lifestyle. So you could do a lot here to really test. Um, just watch how when you add those, if your potential reach really drops. Um, you want this to be as close to 200,000 as possible. Um, usually if you're over 100,000, you could still have a pretty successful campaign. I mean, we have campaigns running to only an audience of 10,000. Um, so you could get profitable ads um, for both, but essentially the more people you have, the cheaper it will be, okay? So try and get that within reason where people are still gonna show up and they are the ideal patients. Um, but if you could pull off both and have this as a big audience, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna have a very profitable campaign. Um, so we're gonna leave this to just keep things simple, but understand this is something to explore. Um, we test this a lot and there, there are some, some things that you could explore, dating, single, um, those are some I've been toying with as a single guy. Um, but there's a lot, I mean, uh, alternative medicine, um, you could, you could do, we've seen, we've seen things work. If you target people with iPhone users, um, uh, people that have newer iPhones, um, tend to be higher quality. Um, they tend to be, um, newer phones in general, um, but they tend to be, they spend more money. So there's a lot you could do. Um, we're gonna leave this open, like I said. Automatic placements, manual placements. Um, once again, so the way Facebook works, if you leave things more open, um, give them more options, they tend to find what will work best for you. And if you give them that freedom, they tend to find it. So there's two things to test in your local market. Automatic placements, um, if you don't wanna deal with it, if you don't wanna test stuff, just click automatic placements. It'll be totally fine. Um, otherwise, you could click manual placements and you will place things on Instagram feed and I'm checking these off to deselect them and then just Facebook newsfeed, just these two. And you can see it didn't affect our potential reach. So this is where 90% of all of our leads come from. So select those, okay? Um, show more options, this is all good, this is all good. I wouldn't worry about this stuff um, and go ahead and move on to that next. That's like for manual bidding and stuff, which I wouldn't, I'm not even gonna tell you to uh, get involved there. You don't need to. So select your Instagram account. Um, if you don't have one, that's perfectly fine. Um, Cool, so we have that good. Now actually, I'm gonna go over how I would organize these ad sets, just to be clear. So I would set up 45 to 65 plus, we have it set 10 miles, English, and manual placements, which is Facebook Newsfeed, FNF, and IF. Okay, so 45 to 65 plus, 10 miles, FNF slash IF, and I think that's it, and then we have English. And just, just do this because when you are testing that, it makes it a million times easier, and we'll call this A1, ad set one. All right. Cool, so now all we have to do is create the ad. So it's that simple. Um, so now what we want to do is, and I'll even show you um, for spinal decompression, we can pull up one that we've previously run. 
So we could create a form. Usually we could duplicate these. Let me see some. Here we go. So we're going to make this just for chiropractic form. So more volume is usually good. Um, you can see that they have made these so uh, recently. So they are, they require like multiple steps anyway. So more volume is perfectly fine. Um, so form type, more volume. Set this intro. I encourage use image from your ad, okay? Don't use a new image. Um, we probably set these up a while ago. Claim your spinal decompression voucher below includes consultation exam report of findings. Um, this worked for us in the past. Um, I think that's fine. Um, what I would say is There we go. That's what I would do. So we could remove the greeting. Um, as you can see, I don't run a bunch of lead forms. Um, these will drive leads, and I'll tell you that. Um, they aren't always going to be as high of quality as a thorough uh, funnel, okay? If you do want to get set up with quick marketing, do this. Okay, they work. I'll tell you, they work well. Um, you can get some some lower cost leads and you can get a lot of them um, pretty easily. However, now if you want to ramp up and really get high quality stuff, that's when you're gonna to go to a funnel. So I'm gonna show you some videos to get started with that in the future. Um, but if you're looking to get profitable campaigns set up right now, this will get you there, I promise. So I would remove this, um, it removes the friction. Um, and then basically what we'll say is, fill out these short questions and unlock your voucher instantly. That is perfect, that's some marketing language there. Um, and then we want full name, email, and phone number. Okay, um, privacy, add your privacy policy if you, um, if you do have one. So just link your website there. Privacy policy, federal rules apply, you can add something like that. And now this is really important. Most people set up the lead form and they're done, okay? But now if you want to increase the quality of these leads, have them call you, okay? Have them go through additional hurdles. And I wouldn't just say, check out our website. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, have them call your office to confirm the voucher, okay? And we're gonna, I'm gonna circle back in a minute and go over offers um, so it won't always be a call, but what we typically run for our clients um, is this type of thing where we are creating an offer around a free consultation um, a, or a, a discounted exam and consultation and report of findings or whatever the case may be. Some doctors wanna give free treatments away, um, whatever the thing is, but ultimately we're giving them some sort of voucher where they can get something to come and see if, they qualify or um, whatever the case may be. Get a test of the treatments, whatever the case may be. But um, so when they do claim this voucher to confirm the voucher, we have them call. So this is a, a prime example. Wait, your registration is not complete. And we've tested this, this works. Because the vouchers are given on a first come first serve basis, please give us a call now to activate your voucher and claim your spot. Only 27 vouchers avail available. Click the button below to give us a call now. Call business is the action, so you can see there. Call us now to reserve your voucher, and you can put your phone number there. Okay, and then you would just click publish. So I'm gonna publish this. Um, so now we have a chiropractic form, okay. Um, and now, real quick, because to circle back, so now we have this all set up, and we could now do a number of different things. So there's a couple key pieces to now building the winning ad. So we went over just briefly getting this, the stuff set up in Facebook, but now the next major part to a really successful campaign is going to be the ad, okay? So that is the 
graphic image or video or and the copy okay and the copy being the um, headlines text description and all that good stuff so um, I'm gonna go over some strategies for the headlines in just a second as well as the text um, but before we even touch that we need to be very clear on our offer so I want you to think about what have you given away in the past that has attracted people to your office okay if you haven't given anything away in the past, what are you willing to give away now to attract people? And most people think about this and they're like, uh, I don't like giving away stuff, right? Which is totally okay. I'm not telling you to just give away everything for free. I'm telling you we need to craft something that is irresistible. We call it the Godfather strategy, where it's irresistible enough for people to say, where people can't resist it, um, like the Godfather, right? I'm going to give you an offer you can't refuse, okay? So you want to give them so much value up front that they can't refuse it. That's why free stuff really does work well, whether it's a consultation to see if they qualify. Um, it could be a free ebook, learn about your condition, right? Um, crafted in a, in a very nice way. Um, it could be a free webinar, free training. It could be a free seminar. It could be... Um, free dinner, free lunch, free event. Um, with with COVID right now, you know, a free online training, a free virtual event, a free virtual consultation, a free phone call, right? You can do all this different stuff, okay? Um, I encourage that. It doesn't also have to be free. It could be discounted, um, right? Uh, we have a lot of guys giving away discounted exams and consultations, Um Sometimes, you know, first adjustments at a discount or it's just included in that and there's a package. Find that offer and create that offer, something that is really, really powerful and get very clear on that. And once you're clear on that, then we're going to start working on this, okay? Now, when we start working on the text, um, I usually encourage start with the text first, okay? Start with this. We call it copy, um, copywriting. So... We use a format for writing the primary text where it's attention, um, interest, desire, and we're gonna remove this after, of course, but action. So grab attention, then you want to get their interest, get them interested essentially, make them desire what you're talking about, and then get them to take action. Okay, so um, before we write that, start with the headlines um, where essentially here you could add up to five, which I recommend add a couple. Um, but here basically, let's say we're going to run a $47 chiropractic exam and consultation and report of findings. Okay, um, what I would do here is you know, the first one we could say is $47 um, life-changing right so you can do all sorts of stuff but that's an example maybe of one um, where it's pretty offer focused um, you could say something like an open letter to um, chronic back pain sufferers. Uh, how, maybe how, um, Avoid surgery and drugs. Uh, we can do so much. So put together some headlines here, right? Um,
Damn. There we go. So we'll, we'll run it with four just to keep this going. Um, here are four really good examples. Um, you can go ahead and, and do all sorts of stuff um, here. So, you know, just really try and the idea is you really want to build value in this headline. This is one of the most important parts of the ad. So focus on this. Um, focus on the benefits of this. And, and don't neglect this. Don't just like write anything. Like really take some time. Think about this. Write out a bunch. Um, with my team, we write out 15 for every single ad that we create. And then we select the top few that we like the most that we think are gonna perform the best and then plug them in here. And I'll tell you nine times out of 10, we surprise ourselves. And the ones that we don't think we're going to perform as well or the ones we didn't know, we, we thought certain ones were going to be the winners and we're always surprised with other ones performing better. So um, put together a bunch here and, uh, and you'll, be able to, you'll be in a good place. Um, same thing with the descriptions. So the descriptions are usually a little bit longer. Um, with these though, I like to, I really like to think about these as being like a ninja type of way to build in extra value. It's kind of like the PS on an email where everyone reads that PS, right? And advertisers will put the most powerful part of the email in that PS part of the email. So even if you don't read everything, everyone scrolls down, they check the PS, they scroll to the bottom and like scan it before they read it, they check the PS, and then if they like it, they'll read the rest of the letter. That's similar to what this is. So the description, what you wanna do here is um, add something really valuable. So um, we could put all sorts of things you could put a quote, you could put a testimonial, you could put um, just a little bit of a story about yourself. So like, let's say Dr. Siegel has, has helped See something like that where it's like a bunch of social proof. Um, I'll give you one more example where it could be like, um, So it's like here I'm we're creating a new a new thought pattern. Um, this is a little bit more than Facebook ads, but this is so important to making this stuff work. Um, find out how. Bam. So something like that. Um, those are two examples. Um, where you can see like there, it's very focused on the benefits. It's very focused on social proof. Um, and it's very focused on being something that's new, big, grand, powerful. So, um, write a couple of those as well. You could also write, um, up to five here. So, so jam those out and, um, you'll be in a really good place. Now for the primary text, um, I told you attention, interest, desire, and action. So I'm going to give you an example of a piece of copy. Um, now, one thing to take note of is 
a lot of people always ask me, should my copy be really long or should it be really short? Um, people aren't going to read something that's long, right? Um, you would be very surprised. Most of our copy for our winning ads that perf- that are winning ads that produce patients who show up and sign up for care programs are long. They're very long. Okay, so don't be afraid to make it very long. The rule of thumb for writing long ads is, is it engaging? If it's long just to be long, it's not a good ad. If it's long because there's actually information that you needed to add, which was important, and it is entertaining, then it's great. Okay, so um, let's grab attention. So this first line is going to be very important for grabbing attention. Um, I'm going to show you an example of one. Um, let's say attention city name. So Boynton Beach and surrounding areas. So now immediately we're connecting with the people in this area. does not have to be a life sentence. Have to be a life sentence. So we have their attention now, right? Because we're speaking to these chronic pain sufferers. We've called out many of their conditions. um, And now we have their attention. They're listening, right? So now let's grab, let's get them interested. Um, miracle drug Um, and I'll tell you like of course I understand this market very well my dad's a chiropractor we work with a lot of chiropractors Um, but if and and I'm sure if you're a chiropractor watching this then you of course do as well Um, if not you know if if you're not a chiropractor if you're not familiar with this market um, it's gonna be very important to do the research first so understand this market before you write this ad but um, here we go. I'm going to dive right back in. So most doctors today are fast to provide the next miracle drug. So what we're essentially trying to do now is we want to create their interest, but we don't want to just give them the solution. You could do that. Um, if, if you're, if you're, um, you could do that where it's like keeping it short. Me, I, I have more experience writing, so I'm just going to show you like how I would write this. Um, so most doctors today are fast to provide the next miracle drug or quick to um, to say that quick to I'm not, I'm not in love with that word, but we'll, we'll run with it. Quick to say that surgery is the only option. Um, the truth is, um,
Okay, we're kind of just winging it, but um, that gives you an idea. Um, Damn, a little quiet, um, but you can see I'm working here. Um, 249. Um, I'm doing this for the next, we might run this ad. <laughs> I'm doing this for the next uh, 15 people um, this month. Click the button below and complete the form. Um.
Bam. So you can see that, and then just we come over here, delete action, delete desire, delete interest, and delete attention. Okay. So um, if you drop a message in the comments, I could send you exactly this piece of copy here that I just wrote, and you're you're welcome to run it for yourself. Um, but, uh, and this could basically be used for decompression, chiropractic, um, anything you have for chronic back conditions, it could probably be tailored to. Um, but that's a prime example of, of a good piece of copy here. Um, I even tested this one, of course, so I have no idea if it will perform. But based on my experience with the market, I have a feeling it will, it'll definitely pull some leads. So it, it could definitely be well within, within a, anywhere from a couple dollars to I'm sure we'll pull, pull good leads. Um, so this will definitely drive a profitable ad campaign though. Um, I can almost guarantee it. That said, a big part of advertising in this market and local markets is constantly producing more of this stuff. So you saw I just produced one, one ad here. We could definitely continue to produce more and I'd really encourage it. Um, and and that's a little, a little sneak peek into the Facebook ads um, creation. Now, one other quick thing is for images, um, see what you have on, on your website and stuff. Some of the best images are simple images of, uh, oh, here we're on the Facebook page. Um, we can see if we have some stuff here. Some of the best images are images of, of your staff, of you, of the doctors and stuff. So like that, might, that would be a good image. Um, I just saw one with the patient. This would be a great image. Um, yeah, this is perfect. He's holding his neck. This is my grandfather too. So we might run that one. <laughs> this one I like. Um, the only thing is this isn't an older person who we're targeting. This, this is a younger woman. So it's probably not the best fit. Um, let's assume this woman gave us permission to run her as an advertisement because she's like our ideal target audience, at least for my pops practice. Um, so we're going to download that. It looks like it's already edited with the, um, with the logo on there. And now we're just gonna come over here and it's real simple, just click upload. You might see in the background, I was running some dating ads. They didn't work, <laughs> but it was it was well worth the experience. Um, all right, so there we go, we have that. Um, so check it out. And now that that's what the lead form will look like. And now we could see, here we go. Bam, $47 life-changing chiropractic assessment for chronic back pain sufferers. So that is it. And then basically, I'm just going to show you, we're going to click publish here. Now, the cool thing also about lead forms is this is all you have to do, okay? When you get this plugged up and plugged in, this is all you have to do. You don't have to add any crazy pixels like you've probably heard about um, or all sorts of other stuff. With a conversion campaign on your website, you will. Um, but that's it. So now you'll see it's in review. And now what we often will do is we'll click duplicate, quickly duplicate and you'll create another ad with more variations. So testing more images, um, more copy and headlines and different stuff. And then they'll be running against each other so that then Facebook will be able to test and you'll be able to see based on the data which ad is performing better and then come over here and turn off the one that isn't. And that's how you really optimize Facebook ads is you continue to test. Um, now you can see also we have this ad set. So the same thing happens here. So we'd come over here and click quickly duplicate. And then we'd have another ad set where we could test more. So maybe we'll test um, stuff like interest, the age, all those other things which I broke down for you. So that's a, that's a pretty quick um, and, and I mean extremely valuable um, chiropractic marketing strategy, um, Facebook ad tutorial, okay? So 
I am telling you, if you follow this step by step, I promise you, you will get patience in your door. The one thing that I will tell you to um, take note of is if this isn't working, look at the ads. Look first actually at your audience. Is your audience too small? Um, but I'm, but I told you before, you could get it to work regardless of the size, um, but that could affect it. And then otherwise, look at this. What does your ad look like? Okay. Is your offer really strong? Okay. Is your headline powerful? Is your image attention grabbing? Does it, does it look tremendously like an ad where people, you know, aren't going to care about it, where it just, it yells like that salesman, car salesman, or does it look like something that people would be interested in? And does it grab the attention of the people you're trying to reach? Okay. Um, and then, uh, and then based on that, if, if, is the offer really, really powerful? And if the offer isn't, I mean, that's, that's going to be the number one reason why this wouldn't work. If you're, if people in your market are, are doing something that's much, much more powerful, um, that could be a reason. But otherwise, I mean, this stuff, this stuff works when this is well written, regardless of what other people are doing, this stuff works. So give it your best go. This should perform. Um, the display link is optional. That'll just show this is new form on Facebook. So we're going to change that and we're just going to make it, uh, we'll just make it his website, healthsolutionspb.com. There we go. Um, sign up button you could do. Learn more usually doesn't work as well. So I'd encourage sign up, download. Uh, you can do apply now, get offer, all those different ones. Um, instant form is good. You could test the automated chat. I like the instant forms to be honest. Um, but I know a lot of people have had success with the automated chats and that is it. So click publish and we're good to go. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. If this video was valuable, please, please, please for the YouTube algorithm, hit the like button. It makes this video essentially get shown to more people. Um, and I do have some links below. Um, so if you do want in the comments, hit me there and I'm more than happy to send you this exact ad, this exact copy this exact headline, all of this, so you could swipe it and test it for yourself. Um, and then secondly, um, if you do want to work with us as a chiropractic marketing, chiropractic office, um, feel free to reach out. I have some links below. You can check out our training. We have a free, very valuable training. If you found this valuable, you will love that because I'm going a million times deeper on the strategy, um, our philosophy for really taking things to the next level. Um, and number two, you, there also is a link, I believe, where you could apply to um, book a call with us and actually work with us. So um, go ahead, hit those, check those out. If you have any questions, you can also check out our website. And at the very least, um, I appreciate you tuning in for this long, um, checking this out, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you. T I'll see you. Uh, that was rough. I'll see you later. Take care. <laughs>